Hi girls and welcome back to the Q and what Q and A. Macy, no. Macy is eating something. Here she is. Say hi Macy. Say hi to everybody. Bye. Hello again everybody and welcome to the Q and A. And I loved all of the questions that you all sent in last week and I am excited about answering them. But before we get into the questions, I wanted to show you all these hats that my mom crocheted and are now on her own Etsy shop. She has an Etsy shop that she was putting stuff on Itsy Bitsy Treats, but she has other crocheted items that aren't doll related on Smiling Rabbit, and I will leave a link below. But here is one of her hats, and she has made three other ones, and I'll show you a little closer look. This one is a white cream colored with a pink and white pom-pom. This one is a light brown with a pink and light brown pom-pom. And here's a gray one with a white and gray pom-pom. So here all of them are with Kit. And these are available on our Etsy shop and you can buy one if you would like. And they're great for winter and it's really great because you can like on this one you can fold it down or fold it up and as high as you want so it can be like a slouchy hat or all the way so she can't see <laughs> but there's kit her hair got messy she looks really cute in it it's great for short hair dolls and all dolls with all kinds of hair, but I think they look very cute on Kit. So there's those. Oops. I'm just setting her down. And we're going to get into the questions. They were so good this week. Thanks again to everyone for sending them. Okay. What is your favorite blogging category? Photo shoots, crafts, etc. And this is from Catherine. And I love photo shoots. I love taking photos. And the sun is kind of coming through, if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell on there. But I had just got back in from taking pictures of my mom's crocheted hats. And it's been raining the entire day. And it finally stopped raining, so I went outside. And it's so weird because it's been raining the entire day lately and then the sun comes out at the very end of the day because the sun's setting right now. It's so weird. But anyway, <laughs> definitely photo shoots. And it's funny because most of you probably can't tell because I can't tell the amount of time that I take my pictures because I only put a few on a post. But I take an hour, sometimes two hours outside just snapping photos because I love it so much and I lose track of time. Um, so yeah, photo shoots and I love doing my crafts. They're so fun to do and I've always loved doing crafts. Ever since I was younger, my mom would just pull out all the craft supplies and I would just make whatever. I would make something out of nothing, make something out of stuff just from around the house and I love just seeing what I can create and making things. And yeah, I really love everything that I do. I love when I ask you all questions and you answer with your opinion. I love reading other people's opinions and having discussions. I love that a lot. Yeah, I just love everything. <laughs> Next question. Okay. What are some tips for saving up for an American Girl doll? And this is from God's Girl. That's a good one. Definitely just put your money aside that you get for Christmas or birthdays if your family members give you money for Christmas or birthday. Or you can ask for money if you don't want something. You can ask for money instead and set it aside. I always put my extra spending money in an envelope so I wouldn't be tempted to spend it. And don't have money in your wallet. I know that sounds kind of silly, but if you don't have the money with you, you won't be tempted to buy something. And it's great to learn how to save now so you can save for the future and 
just learning these things now is so great. I wish I would have learned how to save money earlier. And yeah, definitely. And then you can ask your parents or relatives or friends uh, that are older if you can maybe do stuff for them around the house or chores wise or other things. Um, babysitting is a good one. I never did babysitting when I was younger, but that's always a good way to make money being younger. Yeah, so just don't spend. That's the big, that's, I know it's so silly, but that's the number one thing is just don't spend and just keep it somewhere where you're not as tempted to pull it out and spend it. Uh, my sister had a little lock box when she was younger that had like a key on it and everything that she would put her money in so she would have to actually open it, open the safe and stuff. So that's always fun, just having a cool place to put your money, like your own little bank in your house. But, yep. I hope you enjoy the American Girl doll that you're saving up for. So next question. Have you ever returned an American Girl product? What was it? Did you get something new instead? This is from Flower Girl. And I have never returned an American Girl item through the mail before. But when I was in Chicago in 2006, it was my first time ever going to an American Girl store. I bought Elizabeth's holiday gown and I purchased it, but then I opened it after I had bought it and discovered it was Felicity's holiday gown instead. And I went up to the counter or we exchange, we tried to exchange it, but someone had told us that they didn't have Elizabeth's holiday gown available at the store, so I kind of freaked out a little bit inside, but then we found it on another floor of the store and I got it. So that was kind of tedious. <laughs> and yeah, but I've never had to do one in the mail before. I know that my parents have had to do that before during Christmas time because they had bought me something for Christmas. That's American Girl and they had problems with that, but that makes sense because American Girl is just so busy during the holiday season. So yeah, but I'm glad I got... It's funny because I now have both Felicity and Elizabeth's holiday gowns. I never knew I would get Felicity at that time, but I have both of them now. <laughs> okay. Where do you want to live when you grow up and why? And this is from Kate. And I want to stay where I am. All of my family lives in Kentucky and my friends live in Kentucky. This is where my people are. I wouldn't want to live too far away. I want to stay in Kentucky. But if I had to move anywhere else, I would probably live in Tennessee because I love Tennessee. That's my favorite state. It's so beautiful and gorgeous and just love Tennessee. I love Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge all of those places and I've never been to Nashville but I want to go there. I want to go to Nashville. <laughs> and yeah, I love Tennessee, especially during right now the fall season. The leaves there are gorgeous. The leaves are starting to change here but they aren't as bright as in Tennessee. They are beautiful leaves there. But yeah, I kind of want to stay here. <laughs> I don't really want to live too far away from my parents but well, I'll still live probably not close to my parents, not like next door or anything, but I we live really close to my grandma and grandpa and aunt, and that's my mom's mom, and we only live like five minutes away from her. And it's really nice to be able to be so close. And I wouldn't want to live so far away that I would have to talk to my mom on the phone or Skype or something that's like so far away. I just want to be able to drive a good distance uh, and be able to go to my parents' house. And whenever I have kids, I want them to be able to live next to their grandparents. And yeah, so yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. Would you recommend Josephina? Me and my friend want her for Christmas. And this is from Lainey. And I would definitely recommend Josephina or Josefina, however you want to pronounce it. I know that some people don't do the J because that's like Spanish 
Josefina, but I just call her Josefina. <laughs> but yes, I would recommend her. Hope has Josefina, and we haven't, she's older. She's an older Josefina. But the new one is beautiful. I'm sure that she is just as pretty as the one we have. Her hair is so silky and black and beautiful. Um, Hope's Josephina's hair isn't as silky anymore just because she's older. She's like 11 years old, I think. Yeah, because we we have Molly and Josephina. Those were our first dolls. And they are like 11 years old now. Or 11 or 12. I can't believe that. I've been collecting American Girl things for a decade. 10 years or so. That is amazing. And crazy. <laughs> but yes, I hope you enjoy... Josephina. Okay, last one, I think. Yes, last one. Do you have any tips on keeping your dolls clean during photo shoots? And this is from AJ. And it depends on if you're talking about indoors or outdoors, but doing it outdoors, I would recommend bringing a doll hairbrush with you outside because your doll's hair can get so fly away. Mine do crazy amount of flyaways, especially when they fall down. My dolls fall down on the ground and everything. But um, yeah, and when they do fall on the ground, if, be careful because sometimes they get grass stain on their skin. So you need to be able to catch that right away and be able to wipe that off with some soap and water. Those were great questions. Thank you again to everyone who sent them in, and please send more questions for next week. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you again in my next video. Bye!